Right now I have closed everything out because I'd like to take a step back from our user section and work a little bit more in the user service. I'd like to talk a little bit more about observables and the map operator. If we go and take a trip over to shared models user, this is a common scenario that I think many of us might run into. Right now this is how our user class looks and this is only defined this way because that's how the API returns information. What happens now if I don't want the API's formatting in my application? Me personally, I don't really like this first name, last name. I would rather have a just full on name and a full username here. Where would we do this reformatting to get our information from the API to match the information in our application? Since the service is handling all of that business logic between us and the API, we'll be able to do that logic there. We're going to do a little bit more advanced use of the map function. So we have map, we're getting all that data there, but we can also string another map in here and we have users. And this is where I'd like to reformat to match our user class. We're going to take the data for the users and we're going to remap. We'll go ahead and loop through these users and return them as a different set of users using our brand new class. We'll say users.map and remember we're using map here as the observable which is what we're using for asynchronous data here, once we have this data, it's a collection, it's an array, so we can actually map here as well. We're going to say each of these maps, we're going to have user, and we'll map it, return, an object, and we will say id is equal to the user.id, name is equal to the a template string of the user.firstname, space user dot last name. That way we can just go ahead and string all that together to create their full name. Next, let's give this user a username. Since all of our users, if we take a look here under users, have the Bluth last name, we're going to use their first name as their username. And their avatar stays the exact same. Now, Oh, let's also return this. So we're returning a map of our users and inside of this map we're returning a user which is reformatted to our standards. Let's go over to the user list component and see what that looks like. In here, let's take this. This is bound to bring up some errors in our application since we're changing out the formatting for a lot of this stuff. And let's console log the users that come back. Here we have three objects, which is our users. Notice their names don't exist anymore, and that's because in our template we used user.firstName, and that no longer exists. We can take a look at our user object. We have avatar, ID, name, and username. This is great because our reformatting and our map on the user service did exactly what we wanted it to. We can go into user list component now and change this from user.firstName. We'll change that to name. And let's do a small tag here, and that will be the username. Give that a shot. We have George Bluth, username Bluth, and Lucille, and Oscar. Let's do this a little bit further. We'll go into here, and our get user also needs to remap that user object. We don't want to copy this and paste it down here, because we'll actually probably have to use it here and here as well. Let's create a new private method to just go ahead and reformat that user information. Private convert user info from the API to our standard or format. And we'll name it private to user. We're going to pass in a user and we're going to return a user object. We don't have the type of user, so we'll import that. We're showing an error here because we're not returning anything. That error will go away by the time we're done with this method. 
will return. And this is where we can copy all this information right here and paste it down here. Now that we have this private method, we can go ahead and use that here. We'll clean a lot of this up and just say users.map this.toUser. We'll also do the same down here, dot map this.toUser. Notice here we're only using this.toUser because by the time this map runs, we only have a single user. By the time this map runs, we have multiple users and we'll have to go through each of those users and map those. We'll also need to change user single.component.html from this name, small username. And that should be good enough to reformat the API's information to our information across our entire app so far. Click on one of these, goes through, our username shows on the single page, and we're good to go there. Let's go back to user list component. We'll delete this. And you know what, let's clean that back up again. And our app is still as clean as it was. We just now have this new method to to user just to reformat how we'd like. You can definitely use this technique to get any information from any API and format it to match your app. We'll keep moving forward and we'll work on editing and creating users.